booting my alpha server DS25 into VMS 7.3. Here we go. Power on. And the fans are spinning up. And at this point, the machine is quite loud. Okay, the system's coming up. And it should take about 10 minutes for the system to boot. And as a console, I'm using my VT420 terminal via the serial port. As this machine doesn't have a graphics card, but it is something I'm looking at, possibly a 64 meg uh, Radeon uh, PCI 7500 card, something that I might consider installing later. So I can use the machine without having to connect something to the serial port. Okay, and it's initializing. This machine has two CPUs. It's two alphas running at one gigahertz. And it's got eight meg of RAM installed. Okay. It's running VMS uh, 7.3. And I may upgrade the machine later. I do have a hobbyist license for the latest release of VMS for a alpha. Okay. Yeah, it's not the quietest machine. And... Uh, I'm using the spare bedroom as my uh, restoration workshop computer room. And on a hot summer's day, yeah, you need to have the windows open with this machine running, which is not ideal. It really does need to be in a, a air conditioned environment if you're running it 24 seven, but that will not be the case. And I have been, um, offered a rack, a 19 inch rack, that I could install then, um, but that's on hold until I've got a bit more space to set this up properly. Okay, and later I would like to get deck windows running. It has two SCSI drives installed at the moment. And it has uh, Four network ports, uh, two built in and additional two network cards. Okay, it's testing the memory and working its way through. And both the CPUs are up and running. And the PCI bus running at 66 megahertz. Beautiful. As you can see, there's the speed of the CPUs, the CPU 0 and CPU 1. Okay, let's boot it and boot it off the default drive. Off the server, here's 25. The Open VMS Alpha Operating System version 7.3 slash 2 dash 2. Okay. It's network adapters. I only have one connected. It also has a DVD reader for installing software, which is great. And I may look at installing uh, Unix at some point, uh, 364. I might even uh, install uh, 
open BSD just to see how it runs on an alpha server with two CPUs. Okay, there's no tape drives. Uh, the it had two fiber cards which have now been removed because I don't have uh, any need for them. Okay, so it just has the two additional network cards installed at the moment. But I think I really would like to install a graphics card. Even though it's probably a bit noisy to be running at my daily driver. Yeah, it really needs to be in the next room. Okay. slowly loading VMAs. There's quite a few processes and services that are configured at the moment that aren't required. And later I'm going to do a clean install of VMS. So we're just going to let it boot up and then we're going to shut it down. Yes, having the VT420 really is a perfect console. Okay, and it's just about there. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to log in and then we're going to shut it down. Okay, there it is. And I think I need to look at the time and date. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Um, yeah. Okay, well, let's shut this machine down. So we've booted it and then taking it back down again. And we'll actually power it off as well. Good. And we're going to shut it down now. Okay. And yeah, let's spin it down. Okay. And no, we're not going to um, tomorrow. <laughs> and we're going to power it off actually. Okay. And. Okay, there it goes, We're shutting the machine down. Okay, that's my new uh, HP Alpha Server DS25. I'd like to thank Dave. Uh, this is a wonderful machine for him to pass on to me. Okay, it's not really part of a cluster. Okay. Yeah, there's all the TCAP. Okay. Yeah, I've asked, so it's on my local area network. Okay. Oh, fingers. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of... Uh, a better terminal. I thought about um, using my laptop, which I connected when I first booted it, but no, I had to get the VT420 out. It really is a perfect match. Okay, there we go. It's actually just about done. Yay. And I'm going to. Okay, and it's down. Okay. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time when we actually might try compiling some code and we might even see if we can get X Windows um, and Deck Windows running on this machine and I might just be using a PC as a terminal for the Deck Windows sessions. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye.